In this short video, I want to give a word of warning, a public service announcement, if you will, about access levels in Google Ads and having a really good understanding of who actually has what level of access in your account. So I've been approached by a business that's got a problem. Uh, they basically are working with a new marketing agency. And this marketing agency is going to do a whole lot of work for them, which is great. Um, and I've done a little bit of consulting in the past and advisory work for this client. And what they've gone in to do is add this marketing agency to their Google Ads account. So the marketing agency has an email address they want added. Uh, the person in the business who's responsible for doing this, who is in the Google Ads account on a day-to-day -day basis, has gone in and said, you know, I want to add this email address. And they've been told they can't do it. And they can't do it for a really simple reason. The uh, internal client user only has standard access to Google Ads. So they're a standard user. When I reviewed it within their standard user, uh, but there is someone who used to work at the business who invited them, who is the only person on the account with administrative access to so an admin level user. But that person has left the business several years ago when the admin left the business and the new person who took their job took over. They were only added as a standard level user, the new person, the replacement hire. And this had been fine. Basically, everything's worked fine. No one had noticed or picked this up until today when a agency needed to be added, but because the agency's email is not on the approved domains list, so under Google Ads security settings, you can set up an approved domain list, which basically says, hey, if my domain is uh, easyppctutorials.com, only users with an email address at easyppctutorials.com can be added. Uh, the standard user who is on the account, and there are a couple of other ones within the business as well, none of them are able to do that, so they can't add this new agency. The agency could send an account linking request via their MCC or client manager account. That's usually how I like to do it. Uh, but only admins can actually accept and reject manager link account requests. Um, the only an admin level account in Google Ads can unlink manager accounts. So there's actually a couple of old agency accounts that have been linked in the past when this admin user was working at the business and they haven't been unlinked and no one can unlink them now. So theoretically, these users go in and make changes to the ad account, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. So it's definitely problematic for this particular business. Now, in terms of how to fix it, well, they're at a bit of a problem point here because in effect, the email address for the admin user was shut down after that user left. Uh, it's been several years since that person's worked at the business. Now, the IT team that this client users were able to restore the email inbox for the admin user, but because so long has passed and no other form of backup login was set up or anything like that, when they reset the password to try and log in, Google just says, hey, we don't recognize this, this device. We've got no other way of verifying it's you. You can't log in. Uh, and so there's really nothing that can be done. So the next step that we're having to go through is to go to Google Ads and basically say, hey, what is the process to get um, you know, to effectively get you to change ownership of the account. And it should be possible. You can reach out to Google Ads and there's a process you can work through to effectively submit documentation that proves you're the owner because there's somebody who's paying the bill and they're able to log into the account, for example. They're actually the payment admin. It's just there's no one who's got administrative access on the day-to-day -day management side of the account. But really, this is just a salutary lesson and really a point I want to hammer home Make sure you understand how your account access is structured. If you're the only person who's set up your Google Ads account and goes into it, you'll be the admin, right? But where this problem tends to rear its ugly head, and it's not the first time I've seen it, and I've seen it in other contexts as well, uh, is when you know someone in a business, so you've got a company that's got 10, 20, 30, 50 staff, or whatever, somebody's responsible, say the marketing coordinator or marketing manager, they set up the Google Ads account. Um, you know, they might add a junior employee or a freelancer or someone like that. That freelancer or junior employee gets added as a standard. The administrator leaves the company, gets made redundant, gets fired, uh, gets hit by a bus, whatever the case may be. Suddenly you've got this problem that often doesn't rear its head until it's too late, until somebody goes to do something like adding or removing product links between Google Ads and Google Analytics or Merchant Center, um, you know, or changing access levels, things that can't be done unless you have the appropriate level permissions. Uh, and then suddenly it's, hey, how do we fix this? It's often not that easy. So go in and review how your access is structured. Are there users in the account you don't even recognize anymore? You know, this account has got users in it that the client doesn't even recognize. They've obviously done Google Ads work for the client in the past and no one in the business is still around who remembered doing that. The business is, is you know, well-established. 
but they can't be removed because there's no one who's got an administrative login anymore. So just yeah, really do be careful of this. Make sure you understand how access is structured in your Google Ads account. If you've got a problem, get onto it as quickly as you can. Contact Google support. If there's someone who is the admin who, say, left your company recently, you know, even if you've got to pay them a bit of money to put the time aside to help get this sorted, it's well worth doing it because it can be a real hassle, a real pain. So yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please do let me know and I'll see you next time. Cheers.